don't intend to discuss it any further. I want you to leave the museum this afternoon. Mr. Coulter, the work I did here as your assistant could have been done by a reasonably intelligent child. Leaving won't be exactly a hardship. However, you're rather conveniently forgetting my severance pay. If you want to make an issue with the money, Lyle, I'll be glad to take it up with the board. I'm prepared to go completely into your record during the three months you've been here. Your inability to arrive even approximately on time. The four days off last month with no reason whatsoever. It was spring, Mr. Coulson, though I doubt whether you were aware of that. I want you out of this building by three o'clock. Yes, sir. How did it go, Lyle? It went, and so shall I. Oh, no. What are you going to do? You got me this job. You got any other ideas? Let me go. Mr. Endicott! Miss Cheney! No one told me you were in the museum. And Francis and I just arrived. Well, now, aren't you looking chipper, if I may say so? Well, of course you may say so. Everyone lies to me and spoils me. I'd be rather put out if they didn't. But the only thing chipper about my appearance is perhaps my suit. And if you'd known me longer, Mr. Endicott, you'd know that that's almost as old as you are. <laughs> well, it's still very handsome, and so is its owner. But now, look here, doesn't this add a touch of color? Hmm? Well, no. There we go. That's very thoughtful of you, Mr. Endicott. Thank now, you. Now, you're not going to run off with one of the museum's treasures in that box, are you? <laughs> No, this is, this is my own last little effort. Francis, why don't you run along and do your errands? I shan't need you for a while. Well, now, you know, it's, it's really very good. Yes, you, you know, you've cut this in here beautifully. Yeah. Well, of course, it's only a hobby, but... At least no one can say that I completely waste my time rattling around in that old house out in the country. Oh, there you are, Herbert. Good afternoon, Martha. What a nice surprise. I didn't expect you to Wednesday. Well, it was the only day I could come. Have you taken care of that matter as I asked you to? Oh, yes, I'll uh, take care of that immediately, Mr. Cawthorn. Well, for Miss Cheney, it was so nice to see you again. Goodbye, Mr. Endicott. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, what did you want to see me about? Well, Martha, I'm leaving for the coast. Oh, are you really? Uh-huh. Day after tomorrow. Martha, it will be a wonderful send-off for my trip if I could inform the Board of Trustees that at long last I've arranged to purchase the Cheney vase. Oh, no, you're not still at it. No, <laughs> Herbert. You know I could never sell it. It was the last thing of my father's, and I'm going to keep it as long as I live. No, and that's going to be a long, long time. But, Martha, you always promised. No, Herbert. That's fine. Well, so you're leaving for the coast? Mm -hmm. Well, Francis is leaving me, too. So I have to manage without Francis. And this will probably be my last visit for a while. So, act like a curator. <laughs> I'd like to see those Chinese figurines that you sell to Brian. No explanation, no nothing. He just fired you. Oh, darling, I'm sick. What is it with us? Do we just have the unlucky touch? Other people get married and save money and have babies and think that this is the best of all possible worlds. Why not just once? Just once can something work out right for me. Will they let you stay in your apartment till I get my check? I'm not going to take any more money from you. Take a letter, Miss Waring. What? A recommendation. At least you can type one, I think, even if our distinguished curator won't feel obliged to. What'll I say? Just write a nice, kind, enthusiastic letter. Lyle Endicott worked here at the Manhattan Museum of Art as my assistant until, uh, uh, May 12th. 
during which time he turned out to be a very dependable worker. I hope you don't mind my coming to you. Well, but you see, I'm in no position financially to engage someone like you. Well, there could be other compensations in my case. You see, I could continue my research here in your wonderful library. Oh, yeah, may I? Oh, thank you, Mr. Endicott. Oh, call me Lyle. Well, I... Well, now, look, if I'm going to be taking care of you, you can hardly go around calling me Mr. now, can you? <laughs> it's very kind of you and Herbert to think of me. But you know that when Francis leaves, there'll be just Bella the cook. And I'm helpless. Since my illness last year, I, I can't get around at all. Well, then you do need a man around the house. Now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, would you be willing to put it on a trial basis? Say, one month? Oh, <laughs> of course. I know that I won't change my mind. <laughs> well, then let's seal the bargain. Lyle. Like another cup of tea, dear? Sitting here gossiping with you isn't going to get any work done. And I ought to have been in my studio an hour ago. Oh, well, then we certainly can't let talent go to waste now, can we? Here we go. Whee! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. Oh, oh. There. Oh, really? Now, you go right on upstairs then and uh, get to work, and I'll make all the arrangements about lunch. Oh, now you're not supposed to bother about things like that. Well, why not? I enjoy doing things for you. There we go. Oh, no. Put those somewhere. I'll answer them later. Okay. Would you clear up Miss Cheney's tea things, please? Yes, sir. But, Bella, it isn't important one cup. And you so rarely break anything. Miss Cheney, I didn't break it. Well, now, as Mr. Endicott said, it wasn't broken when I had my tea from it, and you're the only one who's touched the tray since. Well, if you crack one of Miss Cheney's cups, there's no harm in admitting it. But don't try to blame someone else. Are you calling me a liar, sir? I'm merely saying that when one is as old as you are, Bella, and is prone to breaking Bella, things. I know you're tired. Now, you've had too much to do since Francis left. So, why don't you go and lie down for a little while? Never thought the time would come. You wouldn't believe me, Miss Cheney. I can see I'm not wanted in this house. Bella, wait. Bella. I'm afraid we hurt her feelings. <laughs> <laughs> 